called again, bro? The Iron Roots Tonic. Iron Roots Tonic. Iron Roots Tonic, y'all. It's good by Johnny. The Herbalist, right? I am Herbal Tree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Herb. Government name Johnny Walters the Third, but I am Herbal Tree. Y'all better know this. This is like really flowing good through me. Y'all know what I deal with. Uh, for the moment, it's not gonna be forever. Um, MS is dead. Multiple sclerosis is deceased. How I know? Because that's what I, I live. I speak it. I manifest it. And so it is done. I see. And this brother here is an amazing brother, for real. I really appreciate this brother, you know? Like, he just has a way, we got a way of building this energy up, you know what I'm saying? And just working the light, you know what I mean? Working that light and keeping it, keeping it bright, for real, you know? Keep rising that higher and higher, bro, oh, yeah. all the time. For real, you know? It's like we quantum entangled, you know what I mean? So <laughs> this brother is I in another life. With that, yeah, yeah. you see me, I gotta help him out and see him as myself, you know? Hey, I appreciate it, brother. Should I make a right right here? Yeah, you make a right right here. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what's some some gems you can drop for the people, bro? Like uh, you've been blessing me with with very uh, a lot of great knowledge, man. Great enlightenment. Right. Um. What's up, Danielle? Let love love you. That's the best advice I can give anybody. You know, yeah. um, compassion. That's where it starts with everything. Love and compassion. That's Let right. love love you. You know. That's right. And to love isn't necessarily to be nice. It's not. No. To love is to do what's necessary. That's love. That's true love. That's true compassion. To do what's necessary for that particular moment. You know. And we do so in a manner that is helpful. You feel me? To life. You know. It expresses and gives way to the expression of life. That's real, man. Vibrations is high right now. <laughs> Most this, definitely. This drink, this drink is getting me right. Seriously, the burdock root, the iron weed root, the sparse perilla root. Uh, like, like, in this drink, bro. Like, what would you say um, is probably helping the most for anyone dealing with like the inflammation, like that I deal with at times and stuff. Like, how how could this help them? The iron roots tonic. Um, well, that iron roots tonic is composed of eight different ingredients, four of which are very strong roots. Uh, those roots are yellow dock root, burdock root, ironweed, and salsaparilla. Um, those four herbs are very high in iron, so it's going to have a very high iron content. This particular compound has a very high iron content, and um. The other elements that I've added to it are going to assist one with the nervous pain that comes with MS, um, as well as you know just a all around a all around general wellness tip. You know what I'm saying for somebody dealing with multiple sclerosis. Um, pay attention to your your gut. You know what I'm saying, or anybody dealing with any issue. Pay attention to your gut because that's your second brain. I like to think of it as the first brain, you know, but it's the second brain. She want to see. <laughs> yes. Then, then, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, it, it's a little, you know, homemade right now. The bottle, I don't have it properly bottled yet, but this is the product right here. Wow. Most definitely. And like I've been telling the brother, um, one of the elements that I put in here is the milk missile. That's all good. The milk thistle, and that's lactuca seriola. You got two different forms of milk thistle. The one I'm speaking of is lactuca seriola. Uh, this particular milk thistle is really great for the nerves. So is the other milk thistle, but I haven't really studied the properties of that one, so I really don't utilize it. Um, but this one I've done more in-depth study with, with the milk thistle, and just the effects, the calming effects that it has, and. The, the properties is 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 <laughs> it's amazing for real, you know. Like it blows my mind every time I consume it. It really does, you know. I really 
recently just came into contact with milk thistle out in, in in nature for the first time you know this past year and it was an amazing experience now i'm able to go and forage it you know from the source you know and that's amazing you know you're getting the best mineral quality that you can when you get in your plants you know grown in particular regions that have rich soils you know out in the wild that's the best you can get and that's what i provide you feel me for anybody that becomes a client of mine do you now i got a, another question bro would you say that um this would be a great replacement i know people some people do smoke marijuana um i'm i'm being one of them at times but you know we know the whole thing with marijuana nowadays like um some of this stuff is being sprayed too not just food uh do you believe that your tonic would still give you the benefits of like hey man i feel relaxed i feel like high but it's more natural what would it, what would you most say definitely that? um you gotta understand the body really doesn't need marijuana you create your own form of marijuana in your body uh called don't quote me on this make sure i get it right anandamide right it's called anandamide and your body produces this naturally it produces its own thc called anandamide and you can go out in the sun and be out in nature and you receive the same benefit so you don't really need the marijuana you know even though we like to smoke marijuana right yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um the milk thistle i would say it would be a great plant to add to a smoke blend you know if you want to add it in with your marijuana um, I would say another one, which I didn't mention, or yes, keep straight, right, um, that we didn't put in this particular comp compound um, that I have, you know, for um, Dawu is the mullen, right? Uh -huh. That mullen leaf um, is really great for the lungs, you know, so that would be one that we really smoke. So you can mix the milk thistle with the mullen and your marijuana, you know, um, to help clean the lungs. Honestly, you can smoke it and it's going to help clean the lungs. Um, you can drink it in a tea. It's going to help anybody that has asthma, um, any type of respiratory issue, um, bronchitis, you feel me? Your airways are just going to be opened up by this particular herb. You know, the mullein, it just has so many nice properties to it. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can pull some out real quick. Yeah, so then they can see most definitely. Yeah. And I got another question, but I'm gonna wait until you finish with this. All right, I keep going straight, bro. Yeah. All right. And you're gonna bust that first right at the stop sign and gotcha. just keep straight all the way down. Gotcha, gotcha. Here's our mullen right here. This is a mullen leaf, wow. right? You see how furry it is. Yeah, that's really great for the lungs. It's an expectorant. It's gonna help anybody that has asthma or any type of respiratory issue. Definitely, mullen. Wow. Is is mullen? Um, you know they have that as a pasta, like the actual shell. Oh wow, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh word, that's I, what's yeah, up. I, I made a pasta like that before, and I was like, yo, I never heard about it, but I didn't know the benefits could do that for like respiratory as well i did not know yeah most definitely um it definitely has those effects as a matter of fact if you go online um if you go on instagram there's a there's a um picture floating around the internet you can actually type it in on google it'll pop up um there's a lung that's black from smoking for years on end and there's a lung that's pink from smoking years on in right but the difference is the one that's black did not use mullen the one that's pink did use mullen you see what i'm saying so they were still cleaning out the system as they did what it is that they did you know you want to bust it right you know so just a little food for thought that mullen is very powerful you know that's one that i really recommend for anybody dealing with anything uh, like multiple sclerosis or like anything respiratory, you know, anything respiratory, definitely. I actually have a tea. I actually have a, no, it's okay, brother. I actually have a green tea um, that I created, Herbal Tree Green Tea, you know, um, 
with those elements in it the mullet and the lemongrass you know what i'm saying and a couple of other things i ain't gonna give everything away on the free you know but <laughs> yeah yeah they got us <laughs> that what you saying bro well, what about diabetes man my, my father actually deals with type 2 diabetes so that's something that i want to help him out with um as well you know I'm right dealing with myself too um the diabetes my father dealt with diabetes as well wow. um I really recommend the first thing that came to mind was burdock honestly you know burdock root will really be great for anybody dealing with diabetes just because it's gonna help regulate your blood sugar you know it's gonna help uh, with those inulin levels if I'm not mistaken you know um, definitely so that's the thing about burdock you know it, it's gonna it's an anti-diabetic in itself I'm gonna recommend that to him because he, he's he's now getting into hey, I want to do the alkaline say? way. Yeah, you know, and I, you know, I can only tell him but so much of what I learned so far. But um, I know sea moss is, isn't the sea moss good for it too? Oh yeah, Conjus crispus. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay. So what's the difference between Irish sea moss, Conjus crispus, crispus, and um, uh, Iris? Well, yeah, you got like you got like. You know, two different forms of Irish moss on the market right now that's that's really prevalent out there. You got the um, sea moss, which is Chondrus crispus, you know, which is the actual Irish moss. Wow. And then you have um, the Grossularia, you know, that comes from more of the equatorial regions. Um, and that one is an algae as well. It has very med medicinal and healing properties to it, you know. Um, it's just that the Chondrus crispus.